All right, so I'm gonna show you what I got. I've got a Reese 16K goose box. I took the factory coupler air hose line here, cut it, spliced in another piece. Of course, I'm gonna put some clamps and get this all secured so it doesn't get ripped off the truck. Ran it up into the neck. It goes through the front compartment. It comes through above the tire link, down the truss, and goes around behind here. And what I've done next to my Nautilus system, I've got an air inlet, which I've got set to pretty close to 100 pounds right now. So you air it up there, screw on a tire link sensor which will connect it to the phone app. That tire link sensor will give you the tank pressure. I've got a five gallon, just an old junk five gallon air tank from the scrap pile in the barn. So this feeds the tank. This is the tank pressure. As you can see, it's set to hundred pounds. And I've got a locking air regulator. I set the PSI of the goose box to whatever pound I want in it. I've hooked it at the truck, set the indicator in the middle. I'm just gonna set it to 40 and see overnight if it leaks off and make sure I don't have any leaks. So once I air up the five gallon tank at the house before I leave for a trip, basically I set the pressure for my goose box. If it develops a leak going down the road or I start losing air anywhere, it will make up the pressure and regulate to the set PSI from the tank air. And having five gallons on reserve, that should be plenty enough for several trips uh, before I run out of air. If I'm going down the road and I lose air continuously, once the tank pressure gets down to the matching regulated pressure in the bladder, I will set my tire link to the same pressure minimum as the regulator is set to, or maybe five pounds less so I don't get false indications. If I'm driving down the road and I get a low pressure warning on my tire link sensor, that'll tell me that, hey, you've got a problem somewhere, the air bladder's leaking or there's a leaking hose. So instead of climbing, in the back of the pickup with it hooked up, laying on your back, being a fat toad, it's kind of hard to get in there, especially with the tailgate on. All I've got to do is come over here, flip this one thing up. If I need to add air, I add air. If I need to change pressure, unlock, change pressure, lock it, and done. I hope it works out. I think it's a pretty slick setup, so. Tell me what you think.